a woman who discourages her husband. I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over men. She must be quiet. First Timothy two twelve. As she began to become very wealthy at a young age, she feared nothing in this world. With her fluent English, she was making a very successful career overseas. It was a perfect combination of her natural talent for business and the right timing and opportunity. Around that time, she began to look down on her husband, who was spending quite a lot of money on his studies and not making nearly as much money as she. She had grown too full of herself. In spite of all she had done, her husband had never said a word of appreciation, such as "Thank you, honey." It's all your hard work that made it possible for us to live affluently and enabled me to be able to focus on my studies. Her heart was filled with anger and resentment toward her husband, who never praised or complimented her. The more she felt this way. The more arrogantly she acted in front of him, the relationship between the husband, who struggled in vain not to be downhearted, and the wife, who was determined to crush his pride, couldn't get any worse. I met with her at her luxurious hotel-like house for the first time. We exchanged only a few words, but at once I could read her mind. Since we are on equal footing as women, I shared my experiences of when I used to have a job and made quite good money. Generally speaking, when a wife makes more money than her husband, it leads to a breach of the peace in the home. Once the wife begins to consider her husband to be incompetent, the end of their relationship is easily foreseeable. No family can continue to stay together when a pride-broken husband and an arrogant wife confront each other. An overly proud wife finds it difficult to protect her husband's pride when around others. She also finds it difficult to respect her parents-in-law when she slights her husband. This woman feared nothing. Because she felt as if there was nothing she couldn't do in the world as long as she had money. In fact, the power money brought her was quite enormous. However, there was one thing that money couldn't do: resolve the emptiness in her heart. It was impossible to fill her empty heart with anything that belonged to this world. She remained quiet and listened to my story. A few moments later, tears fell down from her eyes as she said to me, "I have been feeling like I would die any minute because of the emptiness in my heart. I would do anything to relieve it." Long ago, she had once gone overseas as a missionary to work for God. However, while she was indulging in working for worldly pursuits, she had grown apart. From God to a point where she couldn't even pray to Him, and in order to fill that hole in her heart, she had made a difficult decision: to leave her company, which was more valuable than her own life, and she flew to Korea. Her leave reflected how desperate, thirsty, and poor her spirit had become. As she read the Bible verse on the entrance of Shinto Building. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jeremiah twenty nine thirteen. She was choked with sorrow. Tears started to fall uncontrollably. Being at a loss for prayers, how painful and distressful it must be. Peace could not dwell in the hardened heart where the Lord wasn't present. There is no peace," says my God, "for the wicked." Isaiah fifty-seven twenty-one. Your wickedness will punish you. Your backsliding will rebuke you. Consider 
then and realize how evil and bitter it is for you when you forsake the Lord your God and have no awe of me. Jeremiah 2 19. As the words of God say, a broken relationship with God is literally a pain and evil. She firmly made up her mind to completely and solely obey God. God, I want to meet you. I will obey you until the last moment of my life. Her attention and interest completely turned from worldly things to God. Finally, lectures and sermons began to permeate into her heart. She was touched and overwhelmed over and over by the teachings of God. She deeply repented her wrongdoing in the past. She felt sorry for her husband. Not a single day had passed by without arguing. She asked him for forgiveness. She began to remember the times when she had hurt people around her. She asked them for forgiveness as well. When all the broken and twisted relationships with people were finally restored and cleared, peace filled her heart. Now, the whole world looked so beautiful. Peace has entirely replaced the emptiness in her heart. As she was leaving Korea, she said that she would come back whenever she feels the need for recharging. Months went by without a single fight with her husband. She was so happy that she almost felt as though she were living in a different world. One day, she noticed that her period was missing when it had been regular up until that time. Feeling strange, she did a pregnancy test and discovered that she was pregnant. This can't be real. Pregnant? Me? Her heart pounded. Once, twice, six times she repeated the test. The result was the same and clear. Overwhelmed with joy and thankfulness, she buried her face in her hands and cried. She had been yearning to have a baby for nearly 10 years now. She had tried every single method possible with money, but they were all in vain. Frustrated, she had given up. And to her surprise, she was now pregnant when she had tried nothing new. When you meet God, He even heals your infertility. My cup overflows. Restoration of the relationship with God restores the relationship with people. In addition, she also bore the fruit of love with her husband. In a few months, she will become a mother, a mother of a baby by the miracle and grace of God.